We are back. We're better than ever. Stop fondling your fruit. And... What? My dog's an outside dog. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Is that a pineapple? Yeah. It's a fake one. You got an office pizza. If you go to Florida, put it upside down. No! No! (laughs) (laughs) The kids look that up. (laughs) The poor boy. Robert, she is so big. And yeah, RFP Con 2. We're working on that. We're working on that. Trust me. I have have plans. All right. What do we want to do, uh, group? Uh, You guys, what, what are you doing? What, like... What, what is your goal? Well, we had other tasks that we could have we gone got for. Thieves to investigate. We, did. we should. Yes. We that should sounds keep, like, relatively the safe. Thing in mind, though, I feel like that's gonna come up again. Yeah, yeah I mean, there what? was druidic writing on the wall. There was. Yeah. Thanks. We sh- should maybe. Oh, let me do this. In, Are there actually, bad in druids? Oh yes. Um. I've heard at least. But, um, Maybe after there's been the stories. Night last Waldo investigated. But, oh, well, um, perhaps if we can find someone who understands Druidic, um, they could translate what's written on the wall because that might be some sort of warning or, you know, get out or something of those sorts. Um. Or uh, maybe it's something as simple as come by my extra dangerous mushroom spores or something. So maybe who knows? Like, I don't just that would be a really good, uh, like a really good advertisement. Is like yes. running someone out of business with how like good your fun- fungi yeah, exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we should probably find out someone who knows a little bit more about this in particular to see if they can translate that language in there. Oh, uh, do we know anyone that knows Druidic? Cause I, I mean, we could ask some people. There's lots of people in the town that might be able to lead us in the right direction. Everyone here so far has seemed very willing to tell stories about things. Not untrue, yes. Um, so, but we do have many things to do before then. So, then we keep that on burner of back, and then we... <laughs> Uh, we, we just got the shit beaten out of us. That is very true. Yes, is I that am... normal in this line of work? I thought no. we were researchers. Um, um, typically, yes. Uh, as far as researching, yes, you normally do not get into such dangerous situations. However, um, from my understanding, from the research that I've done, um. There tends to be a bit of uh, danger in the whole um, adventuring business, so perhaps we're dipping a bit of a toe into that more so than the just average researcher. Well, the lady did tell us to go find some trouble. You must I'm think when you are. Sure, that counts. You mm. must think when you uh, stick your nose into things. Sometimes it gets punched. So, uh, mm. if you think. Oh. I've occasionally accidentally closed a book on my nose, but never had it punched. Huh. Paper cuts are the worst. I think mm-hmm. this is the first time my nose has ever been punched. It was by a headless sheep. Am I bleeding? Look at that. Am I bleeding? Mm-hmm. No. Nope. Have a... No, nope. you do I actually think, quite... I think... Uh, I, I don't... <laughs> I, 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 that's just one of your lava water. boogers. Don't worry. Uh, I, I, do, I do believe it might oh. just be running. There's a... You know, so and all that. I just got hit. I don't see so any blood. Times. When a sister gets a runny nose, is it lava? Yes. <laughs> Without a um, doubt. Okay, so. I bet uh, you go through a lot of handkerchiefs. Was there anything else we had to do in Stonebridge? Um, because I know of something I want to do in the depths. Yes, I know. You want to go to the depths and get into da- dangerous trouble. I have a recommendation. Yes. Let's take an hour scenes. at at an inn that is not plagued by fungi. Uh, recover the rest of the way, you know, make sure we're not dizzy or anything mm. before we go and, and confront potential thieves. Cr- right? That's the... I, the horse thieves, perhaps, yes. Right yes, I remember the, the gauntlet. He is very interested in the gauntlet. Very interested. Yes. 
Uh, so we've done the silver kit. Uh, we've talked to the inactive last tool. All mm-hmm. we have left is to uh, black uh, black moon gauntlet. Figure out what's going on with the um, sables and the horses. Yes. Oh. And the uh, the hot eggs, the the uh, basilisk game stuff. We could do that too. Hot eggs. Hot eggs. Hot eggs. Hot eggs. Something about hoe bags. I don't know. <laughs> hot eggs. H o d a g. Hot egg. Hot egg. Son of a bitch. <laughs> People. And. <laughs> um. All right. Okay, so the plan, right, to go rest for a minute, and then we figure out what we do then. Yes, that's. I think that's the overarching plan uh, as of now. Yes. You said something about stables. I do not have that in my notes in a way that I can. Yeah, the, the, uh, you should write better. I find that um, p- practicing your calligraphy really helps with making sure you can read your notes. Um, I-, I-, I can teach you um, when we're not in the middle. Maybe well, we're taking our time resting in the end, in fact. Um, but for now, let's see. The the stables. Let me look. Let me look. Um, that was over here. Yes. Some mystery- miscreants were sabotaging the local stables. Um, this was in Stonebridge. Um... Uh, merchants think supernatural forces are afoot. Uh, it would be a thing to look into. So it could be some sort of supernatural business with the stables, or just maybe some rebellious use or something of that sort. Okay, so we're already in Stonebridge. We go get lunch, and then we solve the stables problem. The unstable stables, am I right there? Eh? <laughs> Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, all right. Well, uh, uh, yes. Let's um, let's have some lunch then, and get a bit of a rest in. I, I could t- spend some time refocusing. Actually, um, I have many things to write about, so I could use that time. Ask around for a tavern that sells these tour eggs. He's looking for. So Hodeg you are. Are... Hodeg is a monster. A bodega? A son of a bitch. <laughs> you all easily find a place to sit, rest, and eat. Not an issue at all. You spend okay. an hour there. Refocusing. <laughs> a good place for our ace. Bodega nights. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um. Very okay, well. Um. So, anyway. And this is how you do the letter G with a very fine flourish. See? Just like this. Yes, it's... So, in my people's uh, lettering, we do not do all of the the, the swirlies or the... Uh, or really the, the, like the sturdiness of dwarven letters. We are more of a kind of... Spindly? <laughs> well, how do spiders write? Oh, okay. I mean, I can understand that. I'm, I'm just explaining what works for me. Um, there's many. Actually, I know several languages. Um, but it, it, this, of course, is just in the common uh, language. Um, but yes, uh, you don't need necessarily to do the first as long as it um, is readable for yourself later when you're going back to reference things. I find that's the most important thing. Yes, well, that I will keep that in mind as I uh, make my notes. Yes, that's, that's very good. <laughs> so, when's my all... order of hot eggs coming? <laughs> they came, they were fine, you tasted okay. them, lovely stuff. Uh, Great, as... in the meantime, I could use a heal. <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, do we want to, since <laughs> yeah. an hour has yep. passed, do we want to yep. try to... Yep. Two wounds again. <laughs> So you can go ahead and do that. All right, I will treat wounds. I'll start with myself. And if yeah. anyone else can, they can. I can do medicine checks now. We passed a uh, seller of healer's tools. So. Oh, perfect. Yes, just oh, yes. treat wounds. That's the best thing you can do. 
You did a good Ooh, job with yes. mine last time. There we are. Do, Megan. Another ten for me. Aeon's Very good. Healed. Yes. So, uh, I'm seeing Aeon and now I am too. Fine. Yeah, Aeon is fine. I drank potion. And sister has got full. No. And sister has seen bitter bees. <laughs> Oh, I'm you want to. Over. It says she's perfectly fine, so I don't know. I've seen. I've she seen it says she's injured, seen better days. Poppy is fine in history. If mm, I um, could bring it down to numbers, and I'm very good with numbers, you know, being a Forge Master's apprentice, I would say that I'm at about 14 of 22. <laughs> if I could calculate my health, you know, it's, it's, it's a rough estimate. That's a very particular. Okay, so it's not a. It does not make you feel a wee bit or less. Hold on. What you want to do is you want to target her. Click on I yourself. Did. No. Okay. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry. I targeted me... Poppy. Okay. <laughs> They're Let both me... redheads. It's a tiny screen. Leave me alone. Let me finish. Target her. Click on yourself. Click the basic action macro. And use the... Why is Treat Wounds not showing on mine? There it is. Use the Treat Wounds button in the basic action macro. Okay. Going to be in the T section. That's better. There we go. And the healing rolls. And 19 healing for you, Anistra. So go ahead and take your healing. Sistra will take the healing. Thank you. And so then, now I can do it on myself. Yep, so target yourself. Mm. Same process. And there we go. All right. That's exactly what I was down, I believe. If it helps you remember her name, Terry, it's like Ansys, the analysis tool. Ansys. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess Ancestra. it is. Okay. Yeah. Ancestra, solid works. There's the Tra is for something, too. I don't remember right now. <laughs> yeah. probably, -la -la. It's probably another program. <laughs> -la -la. So, what is it that you are doing now? Making a paper airplane. Oh, so you mean in the grand scheme of things? We're going to the stables, I think. Yes, we're going to... Because we're already in Stonebreach, so we should go to the merchants. Or, I'm sorry, to the stable to investigate. All right. So you're going to head... Investigate. You're going to head uh, to um, the location where you were told uh, where clan, the clan Gelderon rancher... Yes. is insisting uh, that his stable is haunted. Um, Ektar Beatsmith, correct? Correct. Ektar Beatsmith. Um, so you head that way. And... Haunted dubstep. You see the stable. name of the place. It's called the... Haunted dubstep. House of Six Nails. As you arrive, you see Ektar, or who you can assume is Ektar, as he is. Oh, one second. I'm sorry. Clandestine. Um, Ektar is um, repairing what appears to be a stone fence using equal parts rock and profanity. Um, he turns, sees you, and you see he brightens a little bit. Um, he's a bit frazzled looking, a little sleep deprived. Uh, but he comes up. Oh, welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, 
what can I do for you? He asks kind of curiously. Hello, we are here to investigate. Uh, we hear your stable is haunted. Um, and we wanted to check it out, maybe provide a hand. And I mean, ideally not de-haunting it. Hopefully it's just like a mouse in the roof. But, you know, whatever I, you need. Who are you going to call? Yes. Well, I oh, oh, truly appreciate this. Uh, c- come, come, come. Let's, um... Let's go. Let's go and sit. Um, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. And he leads you, um, well, kind of into his little abode there. Um, pulls out a few chairs, sets them around. Uh, immediately gets some some flat bread. Uh, you can tell it was kind of uh, baked this morning, and kind of hands it out to everybody. Oh, everybody comfortable. Can I get you anything? Anything else? Uh, is everything good? No, thank you for the hospitality. I got hit in the nose for the first time. Oh. You don't happen to have any sheep, do you? Uh, no. Good. God. <laughs> they're dangerous creatures. Especially when they're undead. Right, no, I raise Ogdenars. Hmm? Ogdenars. What's dinner? What? No, no. I'm sorry, oh, oh. I thought you all might be here to help me. I, 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 we, we are, I do believe. We've heard that you were having some problems. Um. Oh, well, well, let me explain then more specifically. I bought this place from Kyria Tolfaga, a, a legend among horse breeders. <clears throat> Though she recently retired, I figured it was time for me to strike it rich with ranching Ogdenars. We gelder and folks, uh, we keep properties in the clan when we can, so so she sold it to me for, for a fair price just a few months back. Good deal, right? You see as he half-heartedly kicks the Whoa. stone fence. Uh, what was her name again? Sorry. Uh, that he bought it from. I- I'll tell you at the end. Uh, okay. He half-heartedly kicks the stone fence as he answers his own uh, question. Bah, been hell it has. Someone's been breaking fences, hiding tools, bleeding the mules, and making a right mess of things. He kind of looks about with a scowl and sniffs derisively, deri- derisively. Much as I kept watch, I haven't been able to catch the vandals in action. Tried calling in family to help, but they've all politely declined, like I'm some pariah. This needs proper investigation, and I have some funds set aside to make it worth your while, if 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 you be willing. Um, he kind of. Uh, kind of motions to some of the broken things. Um, I'm just putting her name in chat. Thank you for that. Yeah, I'd have never been able to spell that. (laughs) He just kind of looks at you all. Well, yes, of course, we're here to help. Uh, We were very curious once we heard your, uh, your plight. So, um... We shall wait uh, during the night time, yes, is when they strike. Oh, I mean, sometimes at night, sometimes during the day, it's going to happen. Okay, random. so, okay, we were we were just one, well, I just thought it was at night because it's, well, it's, it's fine. So we'll, did, uh, did we'll I say some... night? No, I, just in my mind, that was what I thought. It is my fault. Um, so uh, we'll take some positions around the um, the campus and try and k- keep an eye out. That's one go with everyone else. Sounds agreeable to me. Okay. Do you have anything particularly worth uh, stealing right now? Something we might want to keep an extra eye on. I mean, nothing's been stolen like, like. Yeah, it's not been stolen. My tools have been hidden. Fences yes, yes. have been broken. Mules have been bled. A mess has been made, but I, I ain't really had anything stolen. Understood, understood. 
All right. So, let's take a look around. Basic vandalism is what I'm hearing. All right. And he just kind of uh, nods at you all. Um, let me grab my Oya to be in. Best place you would recommend keeping watch for the best view of the whole the whole place. Is there a particular area that's been hit more often? Yeah, no, it's it's kind of been all over the place. I mean, you got the stables, of course. You got the house. You got uh, kind of the field. Uh, it's been kind of all over the place, unfortunately. Had it been set in one area, it might have been a little easier to to notice, but unfortunately, it's been kind of all over the place. Uh, let me... Right. It's just, uh, there we go. So I'm going to bring you guys uh, to a map. Um... And so this is kind of the area that you're in. He has uh, kind of brought you back outside to kind of show you where all the places are. You can hear the the creatures, the 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 uh, the, and I want to pronounce it correct. And honestly, I'm doing the best I can with it. The Ogdenars. Have we heard of Ogdenars before? Oh yeah, yeah. No, they're specialized yes. mule okay. breed. Um, they're okay. unique. They're unique to King, Five Kings Mountains, but. I mean, yeah, they're yeah. they're a good mule to have. They are basically horses. Very common. They're, they're mules. I'm saying like they are as common as horses. Oh, I places. see what you're saying. I understand now. Yes. But well, dwarves, they might be horses. I mean, we probably don't need the full size ones. Not I don't entirely. know. I've also never ridden a horse. Anyways, we're looking for people who are herding horses, or mules, or Ogdenars. I'll get it right eventually. Hmm. Should we uh, hide? That way they still come this way? Yes, yes, of course. Just wait. Uh, you should... Uh, hey, Puppy, you might want to put out the light you have on uh, uh, in Sistra. It still oh, seems to be going. yes. I can definitely do that. Um... All right, and... Is there a way... Could we try to set an alarm in case someone steps over a certain line, like set a trap? I'm looking because I feel like I saw something like that in the campground activity. Um, but, uh, Poppy will kind of wave a hand like she is grasping a flame and extinguishing it and the light on and Thistra's um, uh, hammer will go out. When you right click the light? So you'll have to cl click it off because I can't click it off. But Oh, thank you. That's cool. Okay. So do we think we should stay outside in the stables? I don't think we got permission to go inside, so... You did Probably, get permission yeah. to go inside. He literally we got inside. He gave you get... permission to check all around. I mean, if we're going to figure out who's doing this, we probably need to investigate everything. Hmm. Great idea. Well, here is a good door to go into. Uh, should I open it? Do you feel secure in opening it, or are you going to get smacked in the face? All right, let me let me do the honors. I much like this, yes. 
Whoa, that was an intense door. You open the door, uh, and it, it appears to be the workshop. Anything unusual? Uh, as you go in, uh, you can see a variety of things. You see tools, uh, and it's mostly tools for grooming, cleaning, and, and feeding livestock. Um, you do note some damage. Uh, includes several spilled grain bags. Uh, it appears to be a dozen iron bars jammed into the unlit furnace. Tools appear to be kind of put in out-of-the-way places. Uh, and there does appear to be some damaged furniture as well. Okay, so this is a, a common hit spot. So if you're looking... So, go ahead. No, I was going to... Go ahead. So if you're looking around areas, uh, you can give me one of those three checks. Mm. Checking to see which I am good at. Because I do not know. Right. And um, you can, uh, as you're looking around, you assess some of the inflicted damage. Uh, there's gashes in a stool indicate someone struck it a few times with a small blade, leaving deep gouges that indicate considerable strength but little subtlety. Um, you also notice, uh, the other successes notice this as well, that the spilled grain bags show signs of being slashed and then neatly overturned again, again showing the culprit has considerable strength and a random assortment of tools are missing, not anything tied to a particular task or uh, trade. Um, can I get either this or... Or this? Sure. See what I am good at, if anything. Make someone have does not the other for me. Oof. I, I got nothing. All right. So, Poppy, you um, you notice that many of the scatter tools are hidden on high shelves, having been placed atop level surfaces um, they're not under or squeezed between things the few exceptions are the lar are larger and appear to have been violently driven into surfaces like pitchforks that are lodged into a crate uh, this kind of suggests that the lighter items might have been relocated using possibly telekinetic magic mm -hmm. hmm. hey Uh, go and dress very, the very strange. What sort of creature has telekinetic powers, but also is great strength enough to damage all this equipment? Could be more than one. Um, Terry, would it be possible? Um, I don't know. I, I'm sure we're going to investigate more. But while further investigation is happening, could I try to set a trap? Maybe not necessarily one that would hurt a creature, but maybe one that would alert us of its presence before it gets into any uh, nefarious deeds. Say that again? Um, I'd like to set a trap, if possible. Like, like are, one that would like like uh, make a loud noise. Are you trained in trap making? Is that a thing you can be trained in? Indeed it is. Yes. No, probably not, then. <laughs> Just kidding! Okay, well, you can't you can't just like put two mm -hmm. things on the thing. You no. could, okay. but you're not you're not good enough not to be help. stealthy enough. I mean, somebody somebody like you putting it together, it'd be like, oh yeah, no, that's a trap. Nice. Okay, understood. Understood. And unfortunately, I am good at taking things, not so much of the. Trapping. It'd be like me flying an airplane, right? I could do it. It's not going to go well, but I could do <laughs> it. That it's the sense. landing part that matters, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. All right. To the next. To the next part of the farm. Uh, here over here, there is a big door. A big I door. Everyone, come on. Let's get this together. 
You got this one, Ancestor. I'm standing over here. Three, two, one. Oh, did a dog just bark? No, I think uh, it was just the door. door scraping on the ground. Sound like a dog. Uh, you enter in, and um, you realize that uh, this is the barn, uh, kind of designed specifically for housing and training horses. Uh, it does appear to have been partly renovated. Uh, many of its inner walls are knocked out, while the columns remain creating kind of a more open space for Ogdenars to shelter in small groups when they're not grazing outside Hel High Helm. Uh, the ground floor is kind of uh, uh, has over a foot of compacted soil sitting atop the stone. You see scattered straw, droppings, that sort of stuff, which you can tell ektar has been so tired that he just hasn't had a chance to kind of clean up anything. Um, let's see. You, uh, uh, as I said, you see there's a loft uh, on the far side. Um... You do notice that there are several Ogdenar droppings smeared near the ceiling at one end of the barn. Um, which is obviously a little odd. And then the hayloft creates a partial second floor, though the ladder that should access the loft seems to be missing. Hmm. You also see a few small traps for catching pests set along the periphery. Ah, like a true trap maker. Mm. <laughs> what if I just set them all along and just hope that they tripped on one? It's perfect. Um, and no, even if we were to look for it, no luck looking for the uh, or finding the ladder. No, um, you could try climbing up, uh, if you wanted to. That wouldn't be a problem. I actually, um, yeah. I actually can do that with, uh, ooh, I don't know if it works, though, the jet thing. Um, I'm going to, the burning jet, Let me. I'm going to pop it out. Shoots behind you, propelling you forward. Try to, uh, nope, it's just a stride. Never mind. Yeah, just a stride. You'd have to climb. It's, it's fine. No, I can climb. I'm very good okay. at um, Is... Anybody curious about the droppings on the ceilings or the traps? I mean, it just seems like yes. mischievous. Okay. So I'm, well, I'm going to ask you these questions now, but at some point I'm, you guys got to just decide that you want to ask these questions. <laughs> I don't want to feed too much to you. Um, Actually, that's awful. I'm not good at climbing. Oh, so my. we'll start with the droppings first. So if you want to give me... One of those. All right. And Sistra, you, um, it seems that these droppings on the ceiling and near the tops of the walls have been smeared, not thrown. Mm -hmm. As if someone actually climbed up there. Or again, Possibly the droppings were telekinet telekinetically manipulated. Yep. I report that to the group. Right. So it who is... said they were... Did somebody say they were trying to climb into the loft? Or... Uh, yeah, I'll well, give it a go. Yeah, I was going to say, I could try to. I think I'm pretty good at that. All right. And give me this. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, okay, so do that instead of the climb thing. Yeah, yeah it's just that athletics check. All right, yeah, you make it up there. And um, up there, you find uh, about a, uh, several dozen hay bales, one of which appears to be partly disassembled. And it's I'll check that out. Okay, yeah. I mean, its straw seems to be have been used to make a makeshift nest about two feet across. Uh, there's a few trinkets that litter the nest, including several braids of white animal hair and a crude chain made from shoeing nails that have been bent into tiny links. Um, Do mules wear jewelry? 
No, this I don't think they make nests either. Um, I'll do I have a rope? Does anyone have a rope? Is that I do. Thing? I have a climbing kit. Yes, I also just have rope. Yeah, here we go. I toss it up. Yeah. Thank you. And then I'll, I'll, you know, feed it down and help people, you know, get up there. All if, right. Unless there's not an obvious ladder hidden up here somewhere. There is not an obvious ladder hidden up there. Then we'll then we'll do that. Um, what do you think made this? And I'm, Poppy seems like a pretty good person for this. Is like, what? So it's something that can probably fly if it made its way up here. Unless he or, just uh, has a really large bird he wasn't telling us about. Or it could float telekinetically, like the poop. Or the tools. Well, what if it wasn't telekinetically? What if it was just flying and just went... Um, he did specifically say telekinetic. It could yeah. have been telekinetic. It could have also been flying. So, both are not bad options. Well, actually, one's considerably worse because mind powers are scary. So, what? Uh, what, what could have done this? What? So, what? Let's let's get what we know right now. It. We don't know if it's its nest. It could have been something else. Whatever had done this may have not made the nest. Maybe this is a red herring. Uh, and is not directly a part of this. It could still be random boys who have mind powers. Um, it could happen. Um, but if we do put the, the clues together, we have something that can either fly or has telekinetic that lives in a nest that likes to collect trinkets. Look, I'm not the guy who knows a lot of stuff about this, but this sounds like Faye. Yeah, it, and mischievous as well. Seems like it checks a lot of boxes. Um, should we just try talking to it? Maybe it's just invisible. A chick in my pocket. Has anything been stolen? <laughs> or taken or misplaced? Just Where? Curious. From up here? Like in my in my person. On you no, nothing's been taken okay, from cool. you. That would have been so funny. <laughs> that would have been so good. Um, Terry, can we get a closer look at this nest and see if we can glean any more information? Or do you think that's that's all we're going to get from it? You look at it, but it doesn't seem like there's anything further that you're going to find out about it. Okay. Uh, anything else up on this level? Or do you think we're if... No, I think you've, you've kind of... I mean, there's not much. There's just kind of what was described, yeah. Mm. Well, I will spend some time just talking to thin air in case there's anything invisible here that... We too could be mischievous. We could be mischievous friends. Friends in mischief. You know, me, Poppy, Aeon, Baradun, you know, we're very friendly people and I will try to make an impression in case there's an invisible or hidden entity. <laughs> Just around to make a friend. <laughs> okay. It was really nice speech, Poppy. There was Thank er, you. And sister. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's right. been a long it's day. Um, it has been. Good Did job, you get hit in the nose too? <laughs> we have two poppies now. <laughs> yep. Very good speech, Ancestra. I think if anybody was hidden, they would feel very welcomed. And yeah. Oh, thank you. That means so much. Um. Yeah. Let's. Ah. Uh, okay. I think we can continue exploring. Climb down the... Well, I'll let everyone else climb down first, then I'll unhook everything and give it back to Aeon and hopefully not eat shit on my way down. It seems like most of the um, excrement is actually on the ceiling, so I don't think you'll have to worry about that. Oh, great point. All right, there's actually another door down here, I believe. We want to go down this way. All right. Underneath... Yep. Might as well. Opening the door, walking out the door. Um, as Not you step out, do you up. see that you're kind of in a fenced-in ar arena area, uh, originally designed for exercising, exercising and training horses? Um, it covers most of this property, uh, though um, it now is really for the 
Ogdenar residents to move and roam around. There's a thick layer of silty sand covering the entire area and provides a soft surface for running. Um, you see, part of Ektar's herd is here. Uh, there's about 26 Ogdenars in the, the pen right now. Um, and they're kind of clustered together. There are a few that kind of uh, are uh, apart. Um, one or two kind of wander over to inspect uh, you all, of course. Now, I remember uh, Iktar said some of them had been bled. Is there anything I see that they look like they are hurt? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, give me one of these. Uh, either medicine, nature, or perception check. Can we hop on these checks as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, if you're, you're looking over them. <laughs> we got the same roll. Yes, yes, you did. Oh, wow. so did you! Puppy, wow. help. Puppy, please. Puppy. Puppy, Puppy please help. Oh, if you rolled Puppy. a five, I swear. Uh, the wine I am sipping is quite lovely. <laughs> they... Their legs, though, um, not quite as good. Uh, what you do notice is that most of these Ogdenars do have minor maladies, like small sores, welts, patches of missing hair, uh, slightly gaunt from being too stressed to eat properly. Uh, the wounds are kind of randomly distributed around the animal's bodies, though uh, a few wounds, uh, uh, very few wounds appear above the shoulders. Um, the injuries don't resemble any conventional patterns of animal abuse that you would kind of uh, assume to see, um, which really, you know, as you look at it, it makes you realize that uh, this is definitely not animal abuse uh, from Ektar. Oh, thank God. You know, I was really worried before we said the rams were undead. I mean, the, the, the missing heads should have clued me in but i was like are we gonna have to call like animal cruelty on ourselves and i don't know how we would, i don't think they would hear us but maybe do they have like a post office i think that that was a weird pull and maybe we should focus on the thing happening now uh since you were looking at the horses give me uh or the ogdenars give me one of those two checks as well <laughs> they're horses <laughs> and sister you just you're not very observant these uh, are definitely horses yeah <laughs> uh, at least poppy doesn't need to save you so in the future if you just click the perception button in chat it'll tell you if it's a success or failure pat um so bear dune uh you realize that the majority have actually herded together less to socialize and more because they're on alert their eyes are kind of darting and scanning the what appears to be a quiet paddock a few of the ogdenars are brave enough to wander alone however an ogdenar with a dappled mostly white coat seems to have been exiled from the herd uh you notice that it looks particularly haggard having several tufts of hair missing. Small, half-healed lacerations and bruising. Uh, you, you realize that this one Does has... Does it look similar to the sheep by any chance? No. No, it's an, okay. uh, it's an Ogdenar. No, I meant like the wounds and the... the, the oh, no, 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 no. Festering mm -hmm. undeadness. Um... But you can tell that it's suffered par uh, like particular torment compared to the other ones. Um, I don't know what you're all doing tonight, but I'm making sure nothing happens to this sweet little angel. No, so that is a good plan. So we'll we'll stay at the places that we know it happens, right? So you stay here at the, the Og this Ogdenar. I'll go into the workshop, and uh, Bradun and Poppy will figure it out. 
I don't know if I was supposed to secretly roll that, but I hit the button. Yes, it's, I will it is, a, sec hit it is a secret check. So yeah, if you hit that button, that's fine. This I is will always hit the button. Dealing with the one horse. Ogdenar. All right. Um, that's what I needed to know. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, cool. Harry. <laughs> Harry. Yes? I, um... But yes, so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, you wait here by the Ogdenar. I'll go into the workshop. Uh, Baradun, maybe you go back into the barn with Poppy. And the guys, we just wait for whatever it is, and then we... I am not leaving this Ognabar's side. It, it has been hurt been... so much. Bar Baradun's going to relay the... Oops, excuse me. That is what his perception check was, is that the other animals appear to be afraid of something nearby. They're not just standing in a group. It's like they're afraid of something right now and it's not us. Is it the is it is it this one? Is it the one with all the Are you excuse me and I will I will get down at eye level with the Ogdenar. No, Are you friend or foe? In don't think you speak donkey. He, he, does, he, he kind of backs away a little skittish from you. Oh, it's okay, sweet. I just thought maybe because, you know, they were scared. I don't know. I've, you know, boy who cried wolf. Maybe it was the wolf the whole time. I don't know. Um, as, I will protect you. As you're talking to that one, um, out walks. <laughs> out walks Ektar. <laughs> And he sees you down low, staring <laughs> at the other. Oh. And sister shoots a projectile at him. What, um, what, what are you doing? Uh, Something uh, seems to have these things spooked over here, and we're trying to figure out what and why. Um, um. Oh, right, I know, that's why I, I told you we're haunted. Well, no, I mean, something has them spooked, like, right now. Right, they, they they tend to be like this a lot right now because of the haunting. Did you know you have a nest? A nest? What, 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 what do you mean a nest? What, what, I mean a large I nest. All with right. trinkets, and it's on the second floor. You know, with the missing ladder. I don't know if you ever found the ladder. Oh, I have not. No. Yes, no. it's a very large nest. How, what size of a creature do you think would fit in there, Terry? Like, how big was this nest? Not big. Oh, was it? It, it, was, it, it was two like, feet wide. I mean, two feet round, essentially. So, like, it, like a hawk, eagle size, oh, could be. or like a could, yeah. yeah. Okay, so maybe it was like a hawk or an eagle size, so maybe I'm over-exaggerating. But still, the fact that it had trinkets that were bent into shape seems a little suspicious. Not, I mean, just, I don't know, seems weird that the Weren't they specifically, like, horseshoe-type nails that were bent into? The... Yeah, they were. Mm -hmm. That's kind of hurt. Um, look, I, I'm assuming, since you're talking to the Nogdenar... Which honestly is a little weird, but you know, each of us have our own way of doing things. Um, you haven't found anything specific yet. Uh, a couple yeah. people you could talk to might be able to help, but I'm not sure. Um, anyways, and he kind of shakes his head for a moment. One of them, what kind of people? Well, uh, I'll mention Caria. Uh, I, I, I got the, I got the place from. Right. Yes, I remember you saying her name. Uh, who? Is, who she, is, is she still local to here? Oh yeah. Does yeah, she, she speak is. to horses? 
no, she doesn't speak to horses, but she lives in one of the one of the district's nicer homes. I always knew she lives here in Stone Break, but just in a nicer home area. Yes. All right. I think we should stay here a little bit longer, especially if something is spooking them here. It is not untrue. Um, who is the other person you think we should talk to? Oh, Rolkin. Uh, Rolkin beats Smith. He's a... Uh, well, he works in a large stable. And they are uh, family, of course. Family's not helping me much right now, but Rolkin, I don't know. They won't talk to me, but maybe if somebody else who's not a family goes over, they might be able to give you information that might be able to help. Hmm. <coughs> not a bad idea. We should probably start with Karia, because she is the... Uh... The previous owner. Maybe she had civil similar problems. Yes, we could see if this is a persistent issue. Before Possibly we go, I'm going to look at Baradun. Um, can you see if their fear is directed in any direction? Oh, you can just kind of see they're staring at something. I just don't know Can where. we... Is there a way, like, hmm, to perceive something that is concealed, if it is concealed? Would, and would a medicine check on the horse that's a part be helpful at all, or... I mean... Do that on animals? You could attempt to, to patch up the animal a bit, if that's what you're asking. I have no problems with that. Yeah, just to see if it, you know... Makes him makes him less uh, undesirable to the others. Like maybe he's got some kind of sickness there. Yeah. Well, you yeah, look. You can tell it's not a sickness. It's it's something's been pulling at it, and I mean, you can tell just by looking at it that something's it, being done been to it. He's not sick. Okay. So there, these are, these are just basic wounds, then. They're not. Yeah. Not the warning signs of. Undead eruption. No. Mm -mm. No, no, no. <laughs> you can understand my skittishness, right? Mm -hmm. Terry, could I try to seek an undetected creature? Yeah, Just you could. in case there is one? Yeah. Okay. I'm and, just going gonna... to... I will try to do a medicine check on the... You the do not... You do not notice anybody, Ancestor. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Yeah, no. That's so totally understandable. Oh, so you're, nice. you're able to heal up uh, some of the some of the wounds on the the animal. Um, still, still a bit skittish, but but definitely uh, looking healthier. There, there, lad. We'll find out what's what's doing this to you. If I had an right. apple, I'd give it to him, but I don't. So. Oh, let's start walking then. That's fine. Did we get directions how to get there? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's, it's not hard to find. Clearly, uh, it's okay. one of the nicer houses. Yeah, Ektar. The, there's oh, a, all two of them here. Clearly, yeah. yeah. It's stuck it, 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 we, we can take take a look for the Tolfa Tolfaga house. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sorry, the Russian accent really <laughs> almost butchered that one. Yeah. So you end up arriving at uh, Karya Tolfaga's house, and uh, you go to the door. She answers the door. Oh, hello, my dearies. What can I do for you? Immediately you notice there are children running around behind her. We uh, actually have some questions about the, the uh, House of Six Nails. Oh, yes. Oh, here. Yeah. Uh, hold on one second. I, uh, uh, kids, kids, calm down. I'm, I'm going to step outside. No, no. Don't hit her right now. You know better. All right. I'll be right back. I'm just stepping outside for a minute. She steps outside the front door. I'm sorry. I, um, uh, agreed to, agreed to help raise my... 
my great grandchildren while the parents are in work, and you know, it's it's a little crazy sometimes. Completely understand. Kids are a blessing and a curse. Um, so, uh, did you have any problems while you were the owner of this uh, house of six nails? Like, no. uh, current, currently, the current owner, uh, Ektar, is having some trouble um, with uh, some things being misplaced, some animals being hurt, poop on the ceiling. Give me. Poop on the ceiling. Actually, yes, don't give me anything droppings yet. on the ceiling. I. What, what do you mean exactly? A poop on the ceiling? Can you explain that? Yes, there was Ogdenar droppings that were smeared on the ceiling. Like not like they were thrown by some angry creature or some disillusioned youth, but like uh, something was either flying or smearing something nearby. Yeah, well. Also, there were tools in the workshop that were placed highly and gently, um, where other things were bashed into things. So I was just curious if uh, you had similar problems. No, I didn't have any real problems, not that I can remember. Um, give me a... Actually, yeah, give me a diplomacy. The one thing I do not have skill points in. Natural 20! Let's go! Three! Would you like to use a hero point? I do not have one. You do not have one. Alright. She looks at you. Look, I don't want to talk about this anywhere. I've got to deal with my children. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I've got to go back inside. Wait. I'm so sorry. Um, There's... Uh, what's the what's the animal called? Uh, Ogni. Ogdenars. Og An Ogdenar. Mm -hmm. This, there's one. Uh, the the pretty white one keeps. It, it's been hurt. It's been hurt. Inj it's been injured very badly, and the others are close behind. Please. I know you care very deeply for these animals you've once cared for. All right. Give me a give. Give me a nature check. <laughs> <laughs> Where is N in the alphabet? Why isn't it not on here? Where? <laughs> Wait. Where is nature on our? Uh... He's in core skills. Or... Oh, I just yeah. okay. I was I was looking at um a different thing. Apologies. Mm -hmm. Roll. She sighs for a moment. Look. Probably what's been happening is Akdar's not the best at managing things. I'm going to guess that most of the trouble stem from his inability to organize himself or the stables themselves. I don't think there's Does he have telekinetic abilities? Because if not, he could not have done this. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what to tell you, my dear. <sighs> well, thank you for your time. I'm sorry to pull you away from your grandkids. Um, but uh, you have if, a lovely rest of your day. If you do learn of something new, please let me know. I'd be interested in knowing what's going on. Of course. Of course. Thank we'll you let you mind. know as soon as we, as we do. Of course. Thank you. Of course. Okay. Shoot. Oh, that was the wrong accent. Um, Sorry, I'll I'll hop in. You. It's funny because when you talk, I like I am going along with it so much. Like I know what you're coming from, and I'm like, oh, why would anyone disagree? So I just don't think to hop in. No, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's, it was very helpful. Um, so I'll, I'll try to jump to your aid next time earlier. It, no, it's, it's silly. It's, it's fine. No, it's th thank you. Um, I am not the, although I do it a lot, I'm not very good at talking. I'm not very persuasive. So I think you're good at talking. Well, thank you. You're very uh, friendly. Persuasion does not have anything to do with being good at talking. It just means you're extra good at talking. <laughs> well, 
So if we have anybody who's extra good at talking, feel free to take over. I'm not good at this. I've put it out there several times. I think um, I'm pretty good at it, but I don't know where to... Diplomacy? Is that our main... Yeah, that's our main yes, stats. Yeah. yeah. Diplomacy, deception, intimidation. Oh no, my diplomacy's pretty shit too. All right, well, we're all suck at this. That's we're surprising. Good at talking, just not good at thinking. There's a lot of people who are very good at talking that are not very good at thinking, so you're a member of a good crowd, I suppose. I'll so we should become go- a butt kid by dead sheep. Ah, well, that's... Well, there's no good joke there. Anyways, that hasn't already been said. Um, we should go see Rolk and Beatsmith. He's the other one who knows something. Maybe he he's. Maybe he can tell us it's, if Ektar is actually a dick. So there's family. they family. So if uh, if anyone would know, he probably would. I I don't know. I think if there's one thing I can trust is our own findings, and I think we've discovered pretty quickly that nothing he could have he couldn't have done the, the harm we saw now he stands, don't don't stab creatures unless he's very good at lying in which Ooh. I guess anyone could be or check this out on a full moon he turns into a dickhead and he does all stuff <laughs> <laughs> like a werewolf but mean but aren't werewolves usually mean I mean I don't know if they're in full possession of their uh, of their minds, so I don't know. I think, uh, I think we're getting off the wrong topic. Too many of them I I well, we're know, going to talk to Rokin, correct? Rokin be nice. I feel like this is a good discussion. Can something that's mindless be mean? I don't know. Baradun, do you feel mean? It doesn't know it's being mean. Oh, Maybe if it doesn't mind being mean, it doesn't mind being mindless. Hmm. That was pretty philosophical, though. That was also a good bone, Aeon. E- e- that was... I-, I got it. Thank you. That was He's, good. Because he said he but, and then I said, and then it was funny. But that was a very, uh-huh. very mindful response, Baradun. Mind your runners, lost. All right, so uh, broken, then. Broken! You make your way to Rolkin Beatsmith. Uh, again, he's working in a, a large stable, uh, not too far from where you all started this little adventure. You and we. I'm sorry. Go ahead. We heard his name because he reported this. I uh, no. You heard this Back name? gave it to us. Victor said go talk to his no, brother because he won't we, talk to him. We've been doing this for like two episodes now, so that was not the first time we heard his name. Yeah. Was no, that his it, brother? We've yeah. had... So we've had the name Beatsmith before because Ektar's last name is Beatsmith. Correct. However, Rolkin Beatsmith is a new name to us as because Ektar just gave it to us, but we had the surname previously yeah. because... Understood. Uh, Ektar. Yeah. Thank you. Um... You are e- easily are able to make out Rolkin uh, in the group. Um, he, you know, I'm sorry. They look very much like their um, their relative. And what do you do? Excuse me, Master uh, Beatsmith. Do you have a moment to talk? Oh, l- look here, my friends. I I don't have much time to talk. What can I do for you? I just have a well, couple questions. Questions. Yeah, we're actually here on behalf of another beatsmith. Uh, the one that owns the stables that were previously owned by uh, Miss Tofaga. Your brother, Ekta. Right, right. No, I I know him. Um, it seems there's been a strange string of... Uh, attacks might not be the right word, but mischief. Uh, I would say that foul play on the animals, for sure. Um... And we wanted to know if you happen to, to know anything or have any leads. What do you mean, foul play? Uh, damage to the animals, damage to the, the workshop, damage to the barn, poop on the ceiling. Um, <laughs> things like 
unordinary, like things were ten- telekinetically shoved or maybe flew. Um, How bad are the animals right now? Yeah. Very, sp- very spooked. And several of them have sustained various wounds, sores, missing patches of hair. Um, several look stressed as if they have not been sleeping or eating. And how's Ekdar? And they're frightened. He's very frazzled. He does not know how to help. All right, give me a diplomacy check. This is wild. I mean, others were talking as well, so I I will allow the others that were talking. I can try. Uh, anything's going to be better than the two that Aeon did. Well, yeah. you see, I'm oh, also an untrained in diplomacy, so it might not. Uh, diplomacy. Ooh, my f- <laughs> four. You guys are <sighs> terrible at rolling. And sister, are you going to roll yours? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll take a, a proficiency in that the next time we level up. Anyway, sorry, I was playing. Does um, anybody want to use a hero actually, point? Actually, I can use a hero point. I have two, so I might as well. And we're getting close to the end of the session. Yep. Anyway, might as well try. Hey, that's better. Hey! Look at this. We're not the complete failures. You see Rolk and he, he sighs. Look. Edgar was... Well... He needed a lesson learned. And apparently it's happened. <clears throat> there's a... There's a Devorovi at the stable. What's... What is that exactly? Um... I guess the best way to put it is, uh... House elf. Uh oh. Sort of mischief. Uh, bay creature of uh, sorts? Of non sorts. ghostly poltergeist. Uh, no. What? No. Um. You have to understand. Uh, Ekar was, was told about the Devor Voy. But he ignored the warning, and more than likely, <laughs> uh, the Dumbo probably didn't leave the customary offerings that were expected. Look, uh, we, we have offer- uh, uh, we haven't helped him because, well, he needed to learn a lesson, but. It seems that lesson has escalated to the point of cruelty and needs to end. <laughs> what are the uh, traditional offerings for the Voy Voy? Well, I mean, they often like tufts of white hair and trinkets and nothing too difficult, but you gotta put them out there, otherwise. No, otherwise they're gonna get angry and be a nuisance. Oh, that is why they attacked that one animal, because he hid white fur. That makes sense. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time, Rolkin. Is, uh, this is there a way to convince this thing to leave? Find somewhere else to go aggravate? Look. Why, why don't I go with you? We'll see if we yeah, can't. Sure. We'll see if we can't possibly get him to calm down. Yes, if we can possibly get things in order, that would be probably for the best. All right. Um, let me just finish up a few things, and then we can be on our way. All right. Mm-hmm. And with that, yeah, we are to going. To, we're going to come to the end of this week's session Damn. as we prepare to deal 
with the house elf, the spirit, the however you want to put it. The, the thing. Vo yes, the thing that is creating such havoc within the paddocks and the, the stables. Toddler. All right. This episode, please.